Hi right, guys, Chris from Throttle here. We have Van Aguilar. Van Aguilar, and this is his most wanted M3 GTR. That's correct. Nice. This car which looks a little familiar is because we all played it as the video game. It's the last car you won on which game? Uh, it needs to be most wanted 2005. Nice. So tell us about yourself. Oh, hell, I'm just uh, a dirty little fun haver. Just been racing cars for over a decade. Just wanted to build this car since I got it in high school in 2005. Now that the parts actually exist, thanks to 2M Auto Works, we're, uh, we're happy to make this a reality. Well, basically, yes. Yeah. So you have this car since high school? No, I've wanted this car. Oh, you wanted this car? But when the E46 M3 first came out, MSRP was about $60,000, a little out of my price range. So now, that I'm a big boy and I have to money with it, and thankfully the prices dropped significantly, about 10000 at a time. It became affordable. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going to do a quick walk around the car and have him tell us about it. So, pretty much this whole, everything on this car that is inspired by the actual racing GTR is a custom piece. Either had to be fabricated out of nothing, or it just had to be sent dimensions to the fabricators. We had the wide, uh, the wide wing from the fabricator in Jersey. He just kind of asked for dimensions and we provided them and now we have a race accurate wing. That's super sturdy and mounts directly to the chassis. Oh, this, this is a chassis mount you're wearing? It's a chassis mount. So the only way to look at this is you can't have to take the hood apart. Oh, no. Oh. Because it has a custom. Look at that, guys. If you're going to do a wing, this is how you mount it so your hood doesn't all flex apart and your paint starts cracking. You can see the aesthetics from the GTR fin in the back, which deletes the exhaust setup, which is why we have the side mount. Let's talk about that side mount exhaust a little bit. Well, it was a little tricky because we had to go right through the cabin. What's that? And so they had to get the actual carpet and put it right back onto the housing. Oh, does it heat up because of that? No, it actually doesn't. Nice. I was actually surprised about that. Well, tell us about the wheel setup here. Uh, the wheel setup, for now, we're running just some BBSs. Uh, thanks to Tonyo, they sent us some uh, some nice little proxies that are triple eights. But in the future, we are gonna, the last big modification for this to be the true Need for Speed inspired build. We're gonna have the replica center locks recreated. Okay. Along with the Brembo Big Brake Kit. And then, now explain center locks to people that don't get center locks. Oh, okay, sure. So most conventional rims to wheel setup have about five or six lugs. Uh, race cars, uh, Porsche and Benz, BMWs, they all have one lug in the center. So all you need is one big tiny breaker bar, takes it off and the wheel is off. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so with that. A Porsche GT3 is our toys for that trick. Yes, yes. And then the livery on this car, I mean, is this accurate to the game? It is accurate. We had we had the privilege to speak to all the designers of the game, uh, of the Saga Power, and he just said follow the body lines. <laughs> That's exactly what you did. Yeah. So, tell me about the engine. So we kept it very modest, very humble. We're running the S54 with reliable ITVs and traditional cross bodies and more velocity stacks if you're nasty. Uh, it has just more direct air, a little more power, and slightly better gas mileage. Not much, but it's honest. Better gas mileage. That was, that was the fact, like, slightly. So, we'll see where that goes. And if people want to follow you on Instagram? Yeah, we're on Instagram at Most Wanted M3 GTR. And I will get here to make a, a smaller profile page, so work on that right now. I will definitely do that. Hey guys, don't forget to check out Throttle. Don't forget to check out the app. More from the car show later on. Take care.